Right now, we're at the first IPFS developers meeting in Berlin. This is, for a lot of people, the first chance that they've had to see each other in person for the first time, um, see demos of each other's work and find out, oh my gosh, this other thing that we're doing over here is quite similar, and how could we work on that more together? What's so wonderful about the conference is actually just seeing everyone's face and being able to like touch and hold people for a little bit. <laughs> appropriately. <laughs> Seeing IPFS and LibP2P be a real thing that inspires a lot of people. Some people are doing some amazing, amazing things. My name is Andrew Hill. I'm from textile.io. We make an app called Textile Photos. Uh, it's meant to allow users to own and control their personal data, starting with photos. Uh, it's backed by IPFS, so data is encrypted and shared over the IPFS uh, system of protocols. So imagine you want to share a photo with a friend or your family. You can actually share it directly to them without anybody in the middle that can see what you're sharing or what you're talking about. Distributed web feels um, like the natural progression of what the internet is, is becoming. As our identities become more and more digital and become more and more uh, lucrative to some of these larger, larger companies, um, Distributed Web gives us the ability to really own our own data and be better stewards of the things that we care about most. Identity to me is an incredibly important thing and knowing that I can control a certain amount of how much or how little I am available on the internet is, is enormous for me. The most exciting thing to me has to do around movement of huge, huge, huge data files and data sets. I used to work at the NOAA Satellite Service, so I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to move incredibly large satellite data between continents. And it is a non-trivial thing to do. And so seeing the future of how some of these technologies might make that a lot easier, also make it a lot easier for um, people to access that data, um, do things that are spectacular with that information, uh, analyze it more effectively, and then hopefully you know, get better, say, environmental data out of it, is really exciting. So I'm co-founder of a company called uh, SeekTech Diagnostics. It's a genetic testing lab. We do genetic testing of food. And uh, we have um, this interesting challenge for managing um, 55,000 genomes. So uh, in our Nixon sequencing pipelines, we've leveraged IPFS in our cluster in order to um, help us with the algorithms to actually differentiate and manage that, that data. There's so many different projects and so many different technologies that are being built. So actually coming here was really nice to have a lot of small conversations. We learned about uh, uh, how the teams here are thinking about identity and how to do identity on decentralized systems, which is some of the same problems that we're trying to tackle at Textile. So finding out how our technologies can work together and maybe uh, share some of the underlying uh, philosophies and ideas that are being created, and that was really awesome. It's amazing um, how many conversations happen at the, at, at the water cooler or at the, the bar <laughs> after the conference. So there's so much dense discussions that happen during the conference. But I think we've had so many really great uh, ideas and, um, that we've explored over drinks. Talking about the, the, all these different the potential of distributed web technologies um, and the core of IPFS is actually how that's going to change the authorship and ownership and, and how to actually disseminate um, information so it's not it's not lost. The most exciting thing about uh, the distributed web is actually how people react and solve different problems in different ways, but still achieving a common goal. And most of the time, I see that those things are emerging and also converging building new different products, which is kind of amazing. You know, that for me, it's the best memory that I'm bringing home, to be honest. Um, that proves me that this is going in the right, in the right direction. This proves me that there is a, a listening and there is like uh, some real world problems getting solved here. So it's been really great, and it's going to be the first of what we hope are lots of further developers meetings and uh, broader meetings too that are from a, a wider range of audiences. Uh, because since this technology is so new, we really don't know what all the use cases will be, what people will end up doing with it. So we need to do a really good job of reaching out to lots of communities to make sure um, our new community is an inclusive one from the start.